Okay, I thought I would just do a quick little video and just talk about really having to install these few little uh, really hard um, Cherry Max rivets in some of these aileron hangers. You know, we've got a hanger here. These are on the rear spars, and you got one at the end down here. Now, we've talked about and I've showed where one of the most important things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do this to your rivet puller. Now, the kind of important side is, so you got to get it down and you got to get the end piece to the mandrel head uh, down there too. And see if I can do this with one hand, but see right here, this part's got to be really thin as well. And, and again, what we talked about was that in a Cherry Max a rivet right here, if I can get it to focus, you know, it's got a, you'll see this washer on top here. That's helping to hold this head tight against here and pull it evenly. And you'll see there's a set, it's kind of hard to get this focus going here. There's a, sket, there's a set washer kind of at the end here. And as you pull this end up, then of course that goes through there and spreads the rivet out in the middle and holds it tight. And it's a steel shank, it's really, it's really hard and it, uh, it really works good. The, uh, there's different rivets. The aileron hanger that's here, the one that's up front, you know, towards the, this is the inboard end, uh, is, uh, is going to use a little longer uh, rivet. It's the CR3213 uh, 4 4-4. And the ones on the end apparently are a little thinner there, so it's using a 4.3. So there are two different rivets. But, and I, I should have, I wish I remembered, I wanted to do a little video before I, I just, just finished uh, these, the torque seal still wet. So, but you can see the, you see the rivets that we have to put here and here, okay? Uh, now, I wrote in a forum a little bit about this too, and one of the ways that the, the problem is, you can see this top one, obviously, is coming downward, okay? And this one is kind of coming up straight. So, you've got a rivet that's in, that's going in here, and you'll see the rivet obviously comes up and it gets really close to this side because it's sloping downward. So the problem we have usually with the rivet gun, what we have to do is you take this cut side because you see that rivet is so close to the part here that the trick is to get this cut down enough to where you can put it up there. And when you've got it down on the rivet like this, that you've got that head, you see, up flush. See there how it's up flush against that? And your mandrel should be kind of straight so you can kind of get it, you know, like that. Because the trick is you can't pull a cherry mac sideways like this at all. It's got to be almost perfectly straight, okay? So the trick is to get in this where that mandrel, where the stem is coming up, is almost straight up. Well, we can do that by cutting down this. But then when you look on this side, because we're hitting over here, then the problem is it's bent this direction. So one of the things I've kind of found out uh, that I can do is take these screws here and just barely start the nuts on them so you leave this loose, okay? And don't, of course, put this one in first. Put this one in first. And what happens is, and you'll probably have to match drill, you know, to line up. These are already pre-drilled here and on the spar for this to go in, in. So you'll probably have to do a little match drill just to get it to line up nice. But what I do by leaving this loose, put the screws through here and the bolts and the nuts kind of very lightly on there. So you've got a lot of room to move this. And then go ahead and put your rivet down in here. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is that these rivets will not go all the way down. You see that? Now we've still got a part here for it to go through. But when you put it down through there, even with the part, you see it's not gonna go flush with the part. It's actually gonna, it's gonna hit the spar here. See, like that, now you got the part there, but when you put it in there, you'll notice that that head will not go down flush against that part. I don't know if you can see it. But you can see it's above that part right there and it's hitting the spar. So once you get it sitting in, it won't work like that. If you do that, it won't work, it'll break. It'll break the stem. 
So what you gotta do is put your rivet puller on here and just very slightly give it a small enough pull and then look underneath there. Just look down and see. And once you get it to where it's up off of the, where it's up off of there just a little bit, then you go back and you can push it down enough to where make sure that when it's flush, this, that this is not touching the spar and that this is hitting hard and flush against this, the part here, okay? So that's one thing. It'll actually, even though that's a shorter rivet, it'll still do it on the back even. So on all four of these rivets, when you get them in there, give them a little pull, just enough to get them up off of here so you can set it flush down in there. Okay, so now we've got everything loose here. We've got the rivet, we match drilled and we set that in there. Take your rivet gun and, <coughs> excuse me, I <coughs> got the flu right now, so can't talk very well, but when you take this in here, okay, now we can, because we've got it cut down, we can get up pretty flush, see, against that. It's nice and straight. It's hitting at the top. Okay, but again, because of that there. Then just take another hand and just kind of push, push the, the uh, piece back over because you've got these loose here. You can actually push it a little bit up until it hits that screw head. You can push it up a little bit, and that lets you then bring your rivet gun up straight here so let it come up straight a little more and give you that that uh rivet i pulled all four of these rivets usually before i started doing this no matter what i would do i'd almost always mess this one up okay but and that was the reason so finally i decided shoot i'll just leave these loose where i can bring that part up and get it straight pop that one in and then come back and tighten the screws and then put this last one in. I very seldom have a problem with this one as long as that head is cut down enough and you can get that all the way up against that like that, see? Okay, and see this side, you can get it straight because this part is straight, but this side is on, at an angle, okay? So and as you pull, just make sure you're keeping it perfectly straight up and down and then pop it. If you've done the rivet correctly, then you can look at it and you'll see, if you look, you can see that the top of the stem is flush. It broke flush with the top of the head right here, okay? If it messed up, usually what you'll see, you'll see a hole down in there where that rivet, where the stem broke off down below. And you can look there and it'll be hollow. And the next thing you can do is look underneath, see, let's see if you can with this camera. But you see underneath, you see the bottom of that rivet there, if I can get it to focus right. You see the bottom of that rivet is up and kind of out of sight. That's the head of the rivet is smashed up. If you mess it up and it breaks that stem before it goes all the way down, you know, where you'll see a hole there where that stem is broken off because it was pulled sideways, then what happens, it won't pull the bottom of that stem all the way up and into that locking collar. And what you'll see, you'll see the stem hanging down. If you look in here and you see stem hanging down after you popped it, then it's, it's bad. You've got to replace it. It means it did not go up and lock into that locking collar. Okay. So when you get, when you pop it, if you see it's nice and flush with the tops like this, that's good. And then you look under, underneath and you see there's no stem sticking out, you know, uh, then you know you've done it correctly. To get a, they're not very hard to get out actually if you mess them up. I just take a 30, uh, you take a 30 or a 40, whatever and uh, drill bit and go right down in the center where that is. And you won't go very far, but just a little, but a little ways, just push, just push down on that stem with the drill and drill, and then just kind of turn the drill a little bit sideways. And this head will actually come off. It'll just come right off. Usually stay on your drill bit. Then what you do is take a, take a small punch that's small enough to go in that number 30 hole like that, put it down in the hole, and then you'll just have a hole there. The head's gone. But you'll see the stem, and take that in the hole, take a hammer, and punch it through. Now, on these, what happens is they'll, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of times there's not enough room. And so when you punch it through, that stem goes down, but it can't come all the way out because there's not enough room. So it'll kind of hang up a little bit in the back side of this. And what I do is take, a, take another larger punch. I just, or you can take a screwdriver, just be careful. And I go sideways and just get that stem and a hammer and just lightly tap it and it'll usually, it'll usually, you know, lay, lay that, pull that stem out and then you can get it out of there. And then you're good to go. Just give it another try. So anyway, I think that kind of covers it. And I know this is a really hard uh, part until you 
understand it, know what you're trying to do and, and how it works. It's so much different than a, uh, than a regular pop, uh, pop rivet that you put in, which are very forgiving. You can pull those at angles and everything else. These cherry maxes, you can't, and that's why they're so much better. You can see the tops of the cherry maxes here. See that went into the jury strut mounts. And this is the back side of the cherry max on the other, the front spar here. You see how they're poked out and set. There's actually a locking collar that's up inside this part here that really locks it in so it's not going anywhere they're very strong so anyway hope that helps